Hi, um, in the next video we're going to do a menu bar. And a menu bar is built up of many pieces. And when we look at the menu bar up here, for instance, we see this band across the top. That's the actual menu bar. And then each one of these things is called a menu item, or a, a menu, and then each one of these down things is called a menu item. And that's the way we need to build it, one piece at a time. So there's actually three parts to a menu. The menu bar that goes all the way across, each piece is, which is a menu, and then each piece on the menu is called a menu item. So let's just go in here, and I've already put some code in here, and you can see that I've added quite a bit of code. Um, and let's just go through it. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to put the bar across the top. You gotta tell the computer there's gonna be a bar across the top. So that's called a menu bar, or a J menu bar. So all I did here was I created a new J menu bar, and I called it menu bar. Obviously you can call it anything you want, but that kind of makes sense. Um, another little thing I did was I decided I was going to put a little icon on there so that the menu would have a little picture next to it. And so I created a little icon, which is just an image, and then I went off and got um, an image from the internet and put it on there. Um, and then once you create the menu bar, then you've got to actually make the menus. So the first menu we're going to make it, and we're only going to do one in this video just to see how it works. It's called a J menu. So you can see right here on this line, I created a new J menu. And inside of the parentheses here, I typed the word that I want to appear on the menu. So the word file should appear on the menu. Now this file, and I called it file. Um, so what I did with this object was I basically told the computer that I want to set a mnemonic, which is essentially a shortcut. You know, when you do a key combination and something happens, sometimes you don't need to do the whole uh, pull-down menu. You can just do the key combination. So that's what this does. It's called a key event, and the V means um, it's going to show up. It's a V is a little up arrow thing, and then F for I'm going to be able to hit the F. So essentially I put a, a new mononic there. Um, then I'm going to put some items on my menu. So, so far I've got the menu bar, and I've got the word that I put on the menu, and I just call that a menu, um, a menu. And now the next thing I'm going to put some menu items. So the first thing I'm going to put on there is an exit. So what I've done here is I've created a new menu item, it's called a J menu item, and I call it E menu item, I could have called it exit, or whatever I want to call it. And then I say new menu item. And then you can see this is the word that's going to appear on the menu. And I want that little icon that I created earlier to appear next to it. On the next line, I've created another mnemonic um, that it's just up arrow C. And since we just learned tooltips, I went ahead and put a tooltip on there. And then because I want this menu to actually do something when I click on it, I have to add an action listener. So I went ahead and did that. And I'm going to just go ahead and use my new button and listener that I've already created from before. Because it's already there, and that's what exit will do. It'll shut down the window. Now that I've created all my items, I've created a menu bar, a menu, and a menu item, I've got to stack these together. I've got to put them together. So the first thing I have to do is I've got to put the menu item on the menu. The menu is called file, so I want to add the menu item to the file. And then after I do that, I want to add the file to the bar. So that's what I did here. And then after I finish that, I actually have to add the menu bar to the frame, which is the whole window. So the frame is called EX, if you recall. And so I went ahead and added, I set the menu bar onto the frame. And you can see I have all that there, so now I'll go ahead and compile this. And when I run it, I'm actually going to get the file. And when I click on file, it's going to give me exit with the little icon. Now that icon's a little bit too big, I have to go in and resize it. I haven't done that yet. But there is the icon and the word exit that I um, stated in my program. So why don't you go ahead and recreate this piece of code. I'll leave it here so you can see it. 
and then when you get done, come back and see the next thing. Thanks.